What up, Cameron? Only question, 9 or 18? My only question is, what the hell are you wearing? It's my sweet golf outfit, man. I just bought it. We're playing air gun golf. Uh, so what did I get dressed up for? I have no idea. Uh, I gotta change. Oh. Idiot. What's up guys, today on Airgun Depot's Under Pressure we're taking a look at an updated classic, the BSA R10 SE, it's a new regulated model, pretty cool gun I have to say. Yeah, we saw this at Iwa and a week later here we have it, which is pretty exciting. I mean BSA is a storied airgun manufacturer, in fact during the World War II era they were like the maker of the M20 which was like the motorcycle that right. Britain was making, mm -hmm. I mean their factory was cranking out rifles, it was bombed out and it had to be rebuilt, so a lot of storied history there outside of air guns. Now when it comes to air guns, they have a storied past as well, because really the pioneer of modern day air guns, this guy named Lincoln Jeffries, built his first under lever spring rifle, which is really the first spring air rifle in existence. Mm -hmm. And that was back in 1905. Really every gun that's come since owes everything to that early design. So a lot of Americans don't know the BSA name, but BSA is really, they were at the forefront of modern day air guns. And yep. so it's worth taking a look at and get to know a little bit better. But first, Dave Cameron, run us through what we have with the new R10 SE. So the BSA R10 SE comes in at a total length of 44 inches. The barrel is a fully shrouded 18 inch barrel with a newly designed fixed moderator that really keeps the sound signature down on this rifle. It's got a four way adjustable butt pad which can be adjusted both up and down as well as for cant left and right. The BSA R10 SE also features a magazine catch which locks the magazine into action. This helps with cycling and making sure that everything stays aligned. It also uses a 10 round rotary magazine which is basically the same as what you'd see in other BSA or even some Gamo guns. The R10 features a standard lever type safety located on the side of the action. It's got a two stage adjustable trigger that right out of the box breaks at about two pounds. The stock is made out of walnut and it is currently only available in a right handed configuration. It is also fully regulated with a 200cc bottle that's filled by an air probe underneath the gun. So with the BSA R10 being a pretty well established rifle in the air gun world, what makes this version different? Yeah, and not only well established, really well loved. I know a lot of people this is their favorite air rifle even though it's been around since 2010. Mm -hmm. But what BSA has done is they're telling us that they've gotten 25% more uh, efficiency out of that regulator. So they got wow. a new regulator in there. Uh, we went out and tested it. On the old BSA R10, and our site listed at 50 shots, but really around 45 it started to, you know, kind of, yep. yeah. And I was able to get 60 shots, so, you know, doing my math, pretty accurate on the claims of 25% more efficiency. So the regulator, as promised, is working extremely well. Mm -hmm. uh, from a power standpoint, same power as the old R10 Mark II, so you're getting an about 30, 31, 32 foot pounds, depending on the pellet you're using. Uh, it's available in 177, 22 initially, and they're already available on our site. 25 caliber is coming, it's been announced, but it's not being imported yet into the US. Uh, we've had some conversations directly with them because we're gonna make that happen for you guys, so. Obviously, the regulator's not the only improvement, though. We got the, uh, the shroud, right? That's right, the new moderator. This is a, a really effective moderator in our testing um, we were really, both quiet. really impressed yeah. with how quiet it is. And it, it, it's pretty basic design. I mean, go ahead and screw your end cap off here and you can pull out the baffle stack. I believe that there's two, maybe three baffles in here. Uh, Are we calling those hair curlers uh, baffles? Uh, I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, pretty basic design. There's, there's basically a washer and then one of these which there's a striking resemblance to a dollar store hair curler. And then there's just some sound abatement material, just some cotton uh, batting in there, which is a proven design that's pretty close to what Hotson uses, and they're some of the quietest air rifles we carry, so. And it makes a noticeable difference. The old R10 Mark II was actually shrouded, mm -hmm. and it had a little bit of noise dampening, but this is making a noticeable difference. So it's yep. a really good improvement by uh, BSA, and making it very comparable with other guns in its range, like mm -hmm. the FX Streamline and other kind of European high-end guns. In fact, uh, Cameron, maybe we should run a little head-to-head, because -head, I feel like like this and the streamline, it'd be pretty interesting. From an accuracy standpoint, very pleasantly surprised, not pellet picky at all. Really? I mean, of course, we started with the JSBs, uh, the lighter, 13.4s, uh, uh, got about a 7 8 inch group at 50 yards, moved to the 18 grains, about a 5 8 inch group, so we're starting to tighten, and then went over to the H&N, and usually that's where things loosen up, but 
no problems at all with H&N. Uh, you know, the H&N Barracudas, three quarter inch group, Barracuda match, inch group. So shot really well with the H&N and they actually, the magazine fit the JSB monsters that oh, really? some of the magazines have problems with. And yeah. I got a seven eighths inch group with the monsters, wow. which I mean, all those were about 21, 22 foot pounds, mm -hmm. but uh, very pleasantly surprised with all that. So you got a lot of options, especially if you like to hunt. Yeah, so it has great accuracy. The fit finish is amazing. If you look at the stock, uh, you're a guitar player, I know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you recognize this wood at the top there. Oh yeah. That's rosewood. That's, rosewood. that's really mm -hmm. nice. I mean, that's really nice. I don't know if I've really seen that on many stocks. So little touches like that. The checkering's amazing. Even little things like there's this nice thumb yeah, rest the there. Ramp. Uh -huh. um, and I love the trigger. What do you think about the trigger? Great. I mean, two pounds out of the box is about perfect for what I consider like a, the beginnings of a good trigger. You guys know I'm a trigger snob. So. Yeah. But I really liked it. Nice first stage, clean break. Definitely call that a match grade trigger. Oh yeah, great it's, trigger. It's an incredible trigger. So enough talking because I want to fire it and you promised me a round of air gun golf. That's right, air gun golf. It's a new game I just invented. So give me the rules. Real simple. We got ball set up every 25 yards out to 100 yards. Okay. If you hit the ball, you get the same number of points as you get for the yardage. So 25 yards, 25 points. 50 yards, 50 points. So whoever has the most points when we're done, nice. wins. Every other shot? Every other go. shot. Mm -hmm. I think I can win this one. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Airgun Depot's Airgun Golf. I'm your host, Stony Watershed, here with my good friend, Angus McBeef. How you doing, Angus? I'm doing well, Stony. How are you today? Doing good. What can you tell us what's happening right here on screen, Angus? This is our preparatory uh, paper, scissors, rock competition to decide who goes first. And it looks like John's won, so he'll be shooting first today. Fantastic. Looks like John showing us his sweet setup with this new BSA R10 SE. Quite a rifle they have there. Let's listen in. This is the side focus. It goes from 5 to 30. It's got the TMX reticle, which is really nice. So it'll give you all your holdovers, both for windage and your regular uh, dots up and down. So we mounted the new Evolution bipod that we're carrying. These are incredible. It's got the extension legs on it, carbon fiber. Um, I like to say, who needs an Atlas when you have an Evolution? So it's a cool setup. Let's see Quite what a nice setup John's got there. Looks like he's getting locked and loaded for his first shot. Angus, you used to be a shooter. What's going through John's head right now? Uh, he's probably wondering if he left the oven on before he came to the course this morning. Interesting. Would have never thought that. It'll get you. Plays mind games. First shot at 25 yards. It looks like it's a miss for John. Our second shooter's up. He's a handsome young man. I would agree there, Angus. He is. Uh -oh. oh, he's nailed it. First shot. He hit it right on at 25 yards. That's 25 points to the shooter. That's clutch right there. Let's look at the instant replay. He absolutely demolished that golf ball. All right, he's up for shot two now. It's at 50 yards. It's twice the distance, but twice the points. Look at that focus. Check us. That's a classic distraction technique pioneered by Tom Gaylord. I, you know, that's part of the game. You got to deal with the, the good and the bad. And sometimes you get an opponent who just likes to make fun. No! No matter though, because Cameron comes through with clutch concentration. Might not even be able to get to pull the trigger again at this rate. Cameron's in the zone. And there's some good sportsmanship from John. Cameron's on to his third shot. He's two for two. Let's see if he can make it three for three with the 75 yard ball. If Cameron hits this here, he is the winner. Oh, I don't believe it. That's absolutely heartbreaking. This doesn't happen often, folks, but it looks like he struck the tee. Are our, down, our downrange officials taking a look? Yep, he's confirmed it. That's a tee shot. Unfortunate he doesn't get the points for that. So now John's back up. If he can hit this 75-yard ball, it's a tie game. He's focused in. Unbelievable. He nailed it. That's quite a shot, and that ties it up. It's now 75 points for each shooter. Looks like the game's all tied up. It's going to come down to this last ball here, Angus. The 100 yards for all the points and all the marbles. It's a long shot. Let's see if John can do it. The gun is capable, no doubt. Ooh, grazed it just left. Hey, right, now it's on Cameron's turn. 
Looks like he was over the top with that one. I think he misjudged the wind a bit. See if John can do it. Ooh, incredible. He nailed it. 100 yards. That, that's it. He wins all the marbles and he takes home today's championship. And on that note, we leave you. Take care and keep shooting. I still can't believe you hit that golf ball at 100 yards. You and me both. <laughs> Pretty great shot. Uh, Thank you. However, I just had to consult the rule book, which I just made up because it's my game. Okay. And uh, because it's a right-hand only gun, I immediately get a 100-point handicap for being left-handed. So it's five. <sighs> And that's it for another episode of Airgun Depot's Under Pressure. I hope you guys liked this episode and liked the BSA R10. We both think it's we awesome. We love it. So click on the link below where you can learn more about the BSA R10 SE and our exclusive Hawk Scope combo that passes on a lot of savings for you guys. Yep, that's right. We love to make those combo deals. Guys, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of our channel. We had a lot of fun making this video. As always, make sure that you subscribe, share this video with your friends and fellow air gunners. And uh, I think we should close this video out by giving you all a nice golf clap. Well deserved.